we'll just send them back and we'll go have a sneaky peeky at the point, huh? Hi. How you doing? Nice day? Just chilling? Poke poke? Just chilling? <laughs> That's what happens because we can't kill each other so we just end up staring at each other. Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Linwu Fortress Siege. Check it, ch check it out. I just realised I was talking to myself and thought I'd better hit the record button, so we're getting a little bit less uh, load in than we would usually today. I'm going to take the X Raiders because uh, I'm expecting lots of uh, ranged units at the final point that we can go in and mangle. Uh, I'm taking the Shield Maidens. We're going to pick them first because they're very good at uh, assisting, assisting, not necessarily doing it themselves, our team to break the line. And I'm going to bring the Domain Arbalist because, well, not often you see Domain Arbalists, and there's a good reason for that. They're not very good, and I will show you that as well. Uh, don't forget, boys and girls, we do have a Discord chat room if you uh, need some help with the game, or you'd like to chat with some others about the game. Um, organise some games for yourself. I'll put the link for the Discord server uh, in the uh, description of the video below, so please come along and join us. So I've got a bit of a question for you today, boys and girls, and that question is uh, about Shield Maidens. Um, who I'm going to take first. Do you like the Shield Maidens? Do you think they're a strong unit? Tell me your opinion on the uh, on the unit below here in the comments. And please, if you can give us a tip as well. Give us a tip about Shield Maidens for, for people who are maybe thinking about getting them or using them. And, uh, you know, share the love. Share the knowledge. Alright, anyway, uh, we're just going to check where the rest of our team are going before we commit to one direction. So we've got at least one friend here. We've got two friends here. What are they going to bring with them is the question. The thing about Shield Maidens is that they're a very, very flexible unit. And I'm going to try and show you as much of the flexibility as I can before we sort of crash and burn. So one of the things you've got to do with the Shield Maidens is you've got to use all of their formations and all of their abilities to get the most out of them. They're a very complex unit that can be played in many, 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 many different ways. And I'm going to show you maybe some of them during this video. So let's have a look. We've got Berserkers. Just Berserkers. Ooh, can we lure the Berserkers? We can lure the Berserkers. Come on. We'll just kite them into the Shield Maidens, because the Shield Maidens will make a mess of them. Especially in this defensive formation, especially with a minus 8% damage reduction, and especially with four heroes wailing on them as well. So that's beautiful. A whole unit of Berserkers for the cost of one Shield Maiden. L-O-L. G-G. Alright, so when you're moving Shield Maidens around, you most definitely want to use them in the cover commander mode. So switch to Spears, put them on number 2, and they'll generally follow you around. You don't want to be pushing into enemy formations with this, or well, maybe you do, because you can actually use it to follow up into the defensive formation number 1. Uh, which we'll demonstrate here because Palace Guard will otherwise absolutely murder my unit. So if we don't go into the defensive formation to give ourselves and everyone around us a massive, massive defensive buff, as you can imagine, Palace Guard walking into you can be very very nasty. But there we go, we managed to take the overwhelming majority of the hits for the Shield Maidens to the front of this little formation. Um, I want to go and heal these ladies first, because we took a bit of a beating there. So we're uh, three Shield Maidens down, but we're also a unit of Berserkers, a unit of Palace Guard, and a unit of Helbedere Sergeants uh, mangled from the front as well. We didn't get all of those kills, but we certainly allowed our team to, to do that. What I like about this unit as a shield unit is that you can be a full shield unit and at the same time still dish some damage out. You can get charges off by switching to um, by switching to the, the sword mode and then charging and then using the shield bash attack, triple, triple shield bash or whatever it's going on there. But really, 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 to get the most out of this unit, ooh, Cilidars, you don't see them very often, they definitely need a rework, is you've got to use all the formations to your advantage, you've got to use all of their abilities to your advantage to get the most out of them. Now, there are a lot of ways to play these, and I know some of you are going to disagree with the way that I like to play them, but uh, mm, Imperial Archers will make us dead if I'm not careful. But yeah, so, by all means, ooh, I don't want to get Modow charged. Here we go, Cilidar's job, that's right. And the Cilidar's will absolutely slaughter them. We'll change to the swords, we'll charge in, we'll do the triple shield bash. 
kill some of them, quickly drop back into cover commander. This, these girls do not do well in sustained combat, especially against other very tough troops. We don't want to take a palace guard charge, that's for sure. What we'll do though is wait till they've got rid of their um, five seconds of anti-CC doom, and we'll set up another defensive perimeter, perimeter here when we get the opportunity, just so... Ow. Just so that our team can reorganise behind us. Take advantage of that chip drop. And of course, we've got nothing to worry about from those X Raiders in this formation either. So, we'll just get rid of this uh, ballista all of a sudden, because it's been killing some of my girls. And it looks like we pretty much own the point of the station. Oh, watch this. If you knock them down and you've got cover commander on, your girls will absolutely jump all over the people that, uh, that you've knocked down. <laughs> See that short sword doing a little boogie over there? That's kind of cute. Um, ordinarily I wouldn't fight with them in open formation, but it's not a big deal against peasants. Well, not open formation, cover commander. Cover commanders for sort of moving them around. Um, I find that they take excessive damage if you if you try to take fights in the in the cover commander. Where are you going, lady? You're sort of running off to the stairs there. Okay, so, got the A point. Cost us three more shield maidens. And this is going to be, we're going to help people come in the side door here. We're going to have our team get in. Because I reckon we can take down the shield. There's another unit coming across the top. What are they? X-Raiders. Wait till they go in. We'll change the swords. We'll knock them down. We'll come on in. We'll do the triple strike and absolutely annihilate the unit. Then we'll cover commander back up. And because we're so supported, we'll then just wander into these X-Raiders. We'll take most of the X-Raider hits on myself, on the hero. But when we're smacking them in the back here, there's no real super danger. So, so far so good. Frankly, I'm quite surprised to still have the unit intact. Or mostly intact. I only lost six ladies from the unit. Hmm. Like most shield units, we don't like these guys here, the Outriders, because of that. We've got another one. Those bastards. Ooh, these guys are going to advance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. I'm going to do the charge, but I'm going to go in first with my sh shield alt so that we take down the guys who are trying to uh, do the Imperial Guard, uh, Imperial Guard advance. So that sort of destroys the unit. Uh, somebody stole my kill, never mind. Put the back in cover, Commander, and we'll just hang out here while we capture the point and reheal. We've lost seven girls so far. We'll just take this on the chin because it's not going to kill us. Minor irritation at best. Sort of plan what we're doing here. Where are you going on? Do we want to do the right flank, the left flank, or straight up the middle? I think we're going to go straight up the middle. The enemy have about 360 units left. Palace Guard. Palace Guard are really, really strong. So we just wait till they finish that glowing yellow doom. We'll switch weapons, we'll charge them, and then we're going to use our massive blunt damage to hopefully get them behind some of them and really cause some carnage. That's successful. We're going to put them back in the cover commander mode now because the uh, Palace Guard, once they finish their crouch, don't do a lot of damage. And there we go. And then of course we are a shield unit, so we're going to put that shield unit up the front, hopefully prevent any units from coming up onto the capture point while we take it. And it looks like this is going to be the end of the game with a whole seven minutes left on the clock. Uh, I could switch weapons, charge in and get a few extra kills down there, but let's just take the sure thing. We're going to protect the gunners and things here. Oh, what's this guy? He's going to die. Watch all the gunners and archers just ping him. Watch. Didn't even get an assist on him. <laughs> <laughs> GG! Well, there we go, boys and girls. How to Shield Maiden. That went so well. <laughs> totally going to upload this one. Uh, we MVP. That's really good. We got the Headhunter. That's really good. A very quick game. And only the Shield Maidens took part at all. So I guess GG. That went super, super well. <laughs> all right, boys and girls. Um, oh, what? It's a bit weird. What's he doing there? Anyway, boys and girls, I hope you learned something new or you just enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for coming to my channel.